Hey guys, it's Paula. Today's video is all about organization. And as you may or may not know, I am a very organized person. I need everything in my life to be in a certain place. And if it's not in that place, I freak out. <laughs> So today I'm going to be sharing with you five easy organization tips for your room or for your apartment in general. There's a kitchen one that I threw in there. These are by no means groundbreaking organization tips, but they are just things that I use in my daily life and things that I actually use in my room to organize my stuff and make my room cuter and all of that. This is also going to be a collab video with Jessica Ralson. She has amazing DIY videos on her channel. I'm obviously gonna link it down below and she is doing a DIY map she told me I don't know it looks I tried to google it what she's doing it looks super cool so make sure you go check out her video that she made so you can see what she did I am also pretty sickly right now I you can probably tell in my voice but it has not been the best week so sorry if my voice sounds sort of like a man and you really just can't stand it but hopefully you can stand it for like five ish minutes while we get through this video okay enough blabbing let's get into the organization ideas the first one might be pretty straightforward, but if you have a desk in your room or anywhere in your apartment in your house, definitely invest, and I say invest lately because I think these are maybe like $5 anywhere, but get a little organization tray that you can put in one of your drawers. I get really stressed out when my drawers are just like packed with things and I have to like rummage through everything to try to find what I'm looking for, but this puts everything in its place. There's little individual trays, so you can put pencils in this one, pens in here, post-its over here, paper clips and rubber bands, all that good stuff. So definitely get one of those for your desk. I know TJ Maxx has a ton because I work there, so I always have to organize those in the shelves, but I know there are a ton. The Container Store, I've never been there, but I'm sure they have a bunch of stuff like that. Target, Walmart, literally any store has a bunch of little organization trays. So just kind of browse through those and maybe think about picking some up to organize your life. Organize your life, that sounds bad. I'm not like insulting anybody saying that your life is so unorganized, get it together. That's not what I'm saying. Just like organize your, your uh, things, school supplies. My next idea is to use a mug as a pencil holder and obviously you can go to the store and buy little pencil holders too. Some of them are really cheap, but I just like using mugs to hold my pens and pencils. I own a lot of mugs, like like more mugs than any normal person should own. So I don't use them all the time to actually like drink coffee and stuff. So I like to just keep a couple to hold some of my pens and pencils. I use some of my favorite ones or ones that um, I can't put in the dishwasher. My roommate gave me a mug for Christmas that was custom made, like some somebody drew on it from Etsy and she said like hand wash only and I'm just I'm just not a, a hand washing dishes kind of person we have a dishwasher so I like to use it so I don't actually use that mug to drink things from I just use it as a decoration and it's really cute I think it adds a lot more to your room than just using like a metal container to hold your pencils. While we're talking about mugs, let's talk about how to organize your mugs. Last summer, my roommate and her boyfriend did an amazing DIY project. I believe they found a picture of it on Pinterest or something like that, and they decided to construct this mug holder. I mean, you'll be seeing clips of it pretty soon or like right now. It's basically just wooden planks with hooks on it and then you hang all of your mugs on there and then you can hang it in your kitchen and it is such a convenient way to store your mugs instead of like keeping them hidden away in your cabinets. Your favorite ones can be out on display and then whenever you need one, you just take it off the wall and there you go. So this is absolutely my favorite part of our apartment. Like, I'm not gonna lie. I just think it looks so cute and everyone compliments it when they come over. So great job to my roommate and her boyfriend. I feel like I cannot take any responsibility for that even though I'm talking about it in my video, but I had nothing to do with it. Shout out to you, Jess and Jake. You are the DIY king and queen. <laughs> Next up, I have a way to organize your necklaces. So I picked up this P little cork board kind of looking thing from the craft store. And basically you just put some command strips on the back of it, stick it on your wall, and then you can push uh, push pins in there and then hang all of your necklaces from it. This is so simple. I have been using this method for like the past three years in my dorm rooms and my apartment now. So it is just such a cute way to store some of your necklaces. They don't get tangled, they're on display. It just looks great. You can buy a little cork heart or like a star or the letter of your name, literally anything you want, and just like put it on the wall. It's no commitment, command strips are great, and you got a cute way to organize your necklaces. And now for the less cute organization tip, but it is still very effective. I'm sure most of us have suitcases in our room or in our apartment that we use like for traveling or going 
back and forth from home to your apartment so I just have a suitcase that I keep here in case I need it but I don't really know where to put it and then I figured hmm let me actually put this to use so I decided to put some of my clothing in there because I have limited drawer space like that is literally all that I have and I have a, a lot of clothes so I needed more drawer space to store some of my things so I decided to put all of my workout gear and t-shirts and stuff and things that I just don't really use that often in my suitcase and then if I need to access them they're right there I can just open it up find them and boom. It's not out in the open so it doesn't look like a mess, it just looks like there's a suitcase lying on my floor. But it is holding some of the things that I don't have room for. And let's be honest, I haven't been to the gym since last May because I have a lot of injury issues. So I don't work out anymore so I keep all of that stuff just like out of my way for a little bit but I still have them with me in case I ever do need to use them which I probably won't. So those are all of my organization tips for today. I hope you guys liked them and you might be using them in the future. I don't know, they're, like literally they're very simple but I just figured I would share them with you in case you needed some inspiration. Thumbs up this video if you liked it, leave your comments down below and subscribe so you don't miss any videos from me. And please go check out Jessica's channel and video cause you need to watch it. That, yes, you just need to. I'm gonna go take some shots of cold medicine and um, I'll just see you guys in my next video. Bye.